high gear. I got it in got high gear. High gear? Yeah. We got Candyman Craig here. Is he still there? I don't know. It's a nice black fin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm live here at Madeira Beach, Florida, home of Hubbard's Marina. We're about to embark on a 39 hour trip here, kind of in the second week of April. The weather is spectacular. The birds are ready. We're ready. I hope the fish are ready. Those are the people that are wishing they were going fishing i wave at them some fish over there just came off a, a charter y'all ready to catch them up where y'all coming from to make this trip montana montana is this your first time here been on the boat before montana a lot of pressure you got an audience here we go bob The famous line toss, can he nail it? Hey, all right, better. Yes, sir. All right, man, tell us all about it, brother. All right, here we go, guys. I uh, finally got some moderately decent weather this weekend. It looks like uh, one to three foot seas, and no rain. I didn't see much of it, but. We're hoping to get out a little further this time and a little deeper and get on some big mangroves and vermilions tonight. Sounds and good. And be man. able to slide out even deeper tomorrow during the day. So get some big triggers, maybe. Big, triggers, big scamp. Big grouper, scamp. Red grouper. Red snapper. I only got one question for you. Yes, sir. Did you get any of the paint actually on the wall? <laughs> I have done a number. Look at that. Look paint. at these pants. Is this not, this isn't the ones though? No, I sat oh. in them. I, I just in the want to know if you got any paint actually on whatever you were painting. Yeah, I've got some other pants that I sat in the paint. Uh, okay. Even. Hello, this is the second captain. <laughs> yeah. Introduce yourself. Hey, sir. what's up? I'm Kent. How's it going, everybody? All right. Yes, sir. Welcome aboard. Second trip, right? Yeah, yeah. his brother. Have you met his brother? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, they do look a little like. <laughs> well, these hardy souls were on the trip last year. Yeah, they are. They're back. This doing? gentleman is from Maryland. His first time out here. Nice. People always ask me, where's the best place to fish on the boat? And I tell them, on the video. Because <laughs> they're always biting on the video. i never seen a video where they weren't biting. Yeah. And we do have our little T-Rex back this time yeah. too. So we got it all covered. Well, that. good luck to everybody. Let's get them. Nice you Y'all ready to tear them up? Oh yeah. yeah. All right. So where y'all coming from to make this trip? Coco Beach, Space Coast. I don't know why he didn't. He, I guess he don't want to get in front of the video. <laughs> Is this y'all's first time on the boat? Yes. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. I'll uh, to, we can see. If, want to see you catching some big ones. Always. So are you going to outdo him? Always. Somebody's got him a rod holder up here. It is a beautiful day. That's where we pulled out of Madeira Beach, the home of. Hubbard's Marina. And that's where we're going. The bridge is coming open now. And as soon as we cross under that bridge, we will be in the Gulf of Mexico. As I show you here, there's the uh, slip and there's the Gulf of Mexico. I don't think there's a boat in Florida that is closer to the open ocean this than Hubbard's Marina. should be moderate winds and uh, pretty decent weather overall. So we'll see. I don't want to get out there too much. I don't want to jinx us. But I'm really looking forward to getting out here in some uh, real good fishing conditions. Like I tell you all the time, do I have an office with a view or what?
first stop on the 39 hour in mid April. Good morning, Jason. Good morning. Good morning, fellow fishermen. How are you? I hope this lens is clean. I gotta check the lens, Bob. It might still be foggy. Good morning. Good morning, Bob. Howdy, Bob. Good morning, Bob. It's real nice out here right now for a change. The last couple trips have been kind of rough. It's supposed to be 10 to 15 knots. It seems like it's more like 10 right now. We'll know better once we get anchored up. And there's the sound of the second horn, which means to tie it off. Tie it off. All right. Big mangoes, right? Yeah, we're, uh, you know, the first spot's always the toughest, but yeah. I've heard that. Big fish tonight, and uh, the weather looks good for it, so I think we're going to make it happen. All right, I'll check back in with you later, man. All right. First fish of the trip, y'all. Look at there. The lady's out doing us. Getting on the board here with two mangoes. And uh, that's pretty much all the fish he's going to want to catch in this trip. He'll probably go up and put his head down soon and start getting drunk later. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, just two. That's cool. Nice mangrove snapper. Is that what it is? Oh yeah, look at that mangrove snapper there. Woo, just fell off the hook. Barely got it in the boat. I had one drop off like that the last time I did it. Look at that big one go. That's number two. There you go. That's how we're catching them out here on this 39 hour. Good morning, Tim. Hey, good morning. She's got the breakfast going here. She said it's the best one within 92 miles specifically. Oh, that looks good. Double decker. Thank you. Fun didn't come out as toasted as I wanted it to. But it's still good. Thank you. We got no, I got in high gear. I got in got high, gear. high gear. Yeah. We got Candyman Craig here. Is he still there? I don't know. We'll find out momentarily. I don't think he is. He had a fish on. Now he knows nothing, sees nothing. Do nothing. Nothing. He's. I a, think he's there. Sunrise trolling by. Or an amberjack. No, it's too silver for an amberjack. Oh, I just try to get him paid by one. I think it's a nice black fin. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out. Grab overhead. Oh, oh, oh. Slap 
<laughs> yes, sir, we did it, boys. <laughs> Look at that planting too. That's the blood spot right there. We had two on it. We didn't even know it, Ricky. Hey. Let's get on that candy man over here. Look at him. Look at that. That is a big one there. Keep the camera up, get facing it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Let me back up a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Now go to camera man. Hey. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that trigger. Holy cow, look at that trigger fish. Want to hold it up for the camera? Yeah. That's two. Now that's a trigger. Yeah. Now that's a trigger, y'all. Beautiful. She's out here catching grouper. Nice catch. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, nice red grouper. I call that. It looks good. Nice. A keeper <laughs> scamp and a keeper red grouper. Hey. <laughs> that was a bigger. Beautiful scamp grouper right there. This guy's out here on the 39 hour in the uh, middle of April here using a slow pitch jig and catching grouper. One stop. One stop. Ooh, look at that mangrove snapper right there. That's a beast. Hey. That American red snapper right there. Yeah. That's a trophy scamp right there. Big, Oh, no, it's a big snapper. 
big red snapper. Oh, snapper there look at that big old american red snapper there folks want to hold it up for the camera will after you bend them no i'm getting it back really quick Ricky. there's a scam it was looking good for a second he had his head on there see that white belly Nice American red snapper there. There we go. Nice fish there. No, I don't. I, I just had to cut the leader. Ah. Yeah, it's through the boot on top. Another American red snapper. Another American red snapper. Holy cow, look at that American red snapper right there. Make sure you vent them. Yep. Yep. Hold on one second, Dave. I'll be right there. My hand don't work right. I think you understand what I'm talking about. Two fingers. Big red snapper. Yep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to pull anchor here, concluding this 39 hour trip. It's been a very interesting trip. The weather's pretty much been exactly as it is right now. Mostly about a two, maybe a three foot chop every now and then. No rain to speak of, overcast, not too hot. There's the anchor coming up. very interesting because it's kind of a, a tale of two cities if you will the mango bite was pretty sporadic throughout the trip we caught a lot of fish but a lot of the fish we had to throw back because they were red snapper and gag grouper they were successfully released and we'll come back and get them in a few weeks but the quality of fish that were caught were really really nice um, i actually got a scam that might end up winning the jackpot. They say it's about 14 pounds, it was 31 inches. So we'll see on that when we get back to the dock. 
But uh, as I say, I caught a bunch of fish, but not too many I could actually put in my cooler. But uh, it was steady action, especially this afternoon. Real steady action. Got out in a little bit deeper water. This last stop was kind of interesting because the last 20 minutes of it or so, I either got my bait stolen or I got broke off by a big gag, it seemed like. Constant. But I think people enjoyed themselves. I know they enjoyed being out here. As I say, the weather was spectacular. The trolling was actually the best it's been in quite some time. Maybe it's because we got out deeper. But this gentleman over here, I call him Candyman Craig. You got two black fins, did you not? I got a tuna. A tuna. He got a tuna. You can't tune a tuna piano, but you can tune a fish or something like that. But there were probably, I'd say, seven or eight tunas caught. At least six. special creation here from the mind of what I call Candyman Craig, my friend, right. from his imagination combined with the skills of Tammy, <laughs> we have what would we call this now? Well, first of all, it's called a monstrosity. Okay. So, we take the leftovers from our trip, we have an uncrustable peanut butter and jelly, on the top. Notice the uh, brown on top. It was warmed on the flat top. Brown. We have the same thing on the bottom. Now in between, we have your average hamburger. Nothing is average from this kitchen. No, no. A but cheeseburger. Onion. Cheese, the best cheeseburger within 100 miles. Within 100 miles. Yes. And I can guarantee that. All right. I've looked up the stats. Anyways, All right, so onions, regular it. tomato, lettuce, the whole thing. So we're going to cut into this. It's a cheeseburger, uncrustable abomination. It's getting All better right. and better as it goes. And he's trying to keep it all together. I'm trying to. Yeah. Cutting skills aren't the best. Now, I think it's safe to say you're not too concerned about your clogged arteries at this point. Why? Well, let's turn it around. See hold on, hold on. Like. I might be cutting into the formica at this point. Okay, so there's a. There's the layers shot. of it. That's it. And then the other one is. Hopefully, there'll, there'll be some editing by Bob for this. Let's see. So we have to notice, you know, the true character of the abomination. The peanut butter, the jelly, the onions, the lettuce, the hamburger, the cheeseburger, the cheese, tomatoes, and so forth on the bottom. At this point, <laughs> nothing left, there's nothing left to do except one thing. See there in the distance, that's the Johns Pass Bridge. We're almost home, almost home to Hubbard's Marina, Madeira Beach, Florida. Well, we had a, a pretty fair overall trip. The weather was fantastic, much like you see it right now. It's uh, probably, it's actually a kind of a warm breeze out here. I think it's coming out of the south. old glory waving in the background always a good sight to see new business is about to open up there called crabbies used to be gators i guess they couldn't survive the covid downturn but a new place called crabbies is about to open up all right i'll show you this back in the dock Nice 
big triggers. Look at those yeah, triggers. Yeah, we got a real head 60 feet on the stick. We bought a regular moment, but we probably took 20 keepers back. Turn up. Just throwing them back. That's right. No, 170. Nice. 165, 168, 170. Yeah, that 170 something. Fat tuna. It's still blue. A little blood on the deck. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. starting to fill up. Look at that big old trigger fish. Yeah, that nice porgy nice. too, man. Nice. What a trigger. Beauty. Big old porgy down there too. Sorry. Alright, now that's how you fill up a cooler. Good job, guys. Nice catch. Oh, with the fishy hand, I love it. Okay. All right, you got to get in the picture now. We have a lovely young angler here. 23 and a half pounds. Smile, Captain, look over here. You want my picture? Just go to the public. Sophie, the fishing lady. She is a, a young lady. Get in the picture, Mom. Come on. Proud Mama here with her. What a catch. Good job, Sophie. Okay, go ahead. This is Larry Miller. He's been recovering from cancer and various other things. We're glad to see him. Tell us uh, how you're doing, Larry. I'm doing pretty good. I've taken 15 radiation treatments. I've had five chemo treatments. The chemo, unfortunately, didn't work, so I'm going back Monday to start a new type of chemo for three months. You know, do a PET scan and if that works out, they'll operate. Everything should be good. That's what I'm hoping for. Well, it's glad to see you back. A lot of people ask about you. Well, thank you. It's good to be back. It's good to be down here seeing people catching fish. I miss my fishing buddy. All right. Thanks, John. Yeah, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to end it for the 39-hour trip this morning. I was fortunate enough to get two jackpots, both the snapper and the grouper. Better to be lucky than good sometimes. Of course, no trip would be complete without the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marina. They make it all possible. Good morning. Well, we're going to wrap it up. There's a, a midweek this week, and uh, coming up this weekend, next weekend, is the 44-hour full moon. Check out Hubbard'sMarina.com for more details.